This is the Eastern Economic Corridor, or EEC for short, and it is one of Thailand's biggest ever endeavors it has done in its history of economic developments. It is a scheme that is worth over 1.5 trillion baht, or 45 billion US dollars, which is a revolutionary step that would reinvent the country and reach its goal of becoming a developed nation. The EEC's master plan is officially known as the Eastern Special Development Zone, and it encompasses three eastern provinces of Thailand, Chonburi, Rayong, and Chachuan Sao. Combined, these are over 13,285 square kilometers of land, or from an economic perspective, thousands of opportunities for the country and its people. The plans laid out by the government is that these three provinces will be transformed into a hub mainly for technological manufacturing and services while having a strong connection with its Asian neighbors by land, sea, and air. The major infrastructure development moving Thailand from the EEC is the Yutapau International Airport, as it becomes one of the main commercial airports of the country. This airport has opened the opportunity missed by the two other airports the country has as it experienced heavy loads beyond its capacity. The Yutapau Airport plan was to construct a second runway along with another passenger terminal. This expansion would make the current capacity of only 800,000 people to over 3 million people annually. The passenger terminal alone was allocated a construction budget of 620 million baht. What's more is that this airport expansion plan over the provinces of Thailand is actually just the start. There is another bigger plan that is set to make this airfield's capacity increase by as much as 15 million passengers annually. While the construction going for the airport may sound amazing, the most important development to know is from the State Railway of Thailand, as they are currently undergoing a massive construction that would not only revolutionize the EEC, but might as well the entire economy of the country. This development is the high-speed railway, and it will be connected throughout the areas of EEC and links to major destinations such as the Bangsu Grand Station, Yutapau Airport, and Danmyeong International Airport. This agenda alone was estimated to cost a whopping 224.5 billion baht, or over 7.4 billion US dollars. The rail length of this project will be 221 kilometers long, from which 181 kilometers would be elevated, 2 kilometers of surface track, and 8 kilometers of underground track. The last major agenda on this is the development of its seaports. Currently, EEC is served by two major ports, which are known as the Lanchapang Port and Maptafut Port. The former is the largest port there is in Thailand, so it is responsible for handling the largest vessels and as well as the main trading platform. The port alone occupies 2,572 acres, so such developments or expansions are necessary in order to drive economic growth for Thailand. What's going to embark the people of these provinces, however, is education. The areas could have great infrastructures and technology hubs, but without the right people to manage it, it would obviously be inefficient. Thankfully, educational development is also going to be a big part of the EEC. Many famous universities such as Barafa University and Amada University have plans in opening campuses around the area and even international universities around the world have given their statements about the possibility of opening. This would then not only help increase the education of the people living there, but also give a reason for foreign people or people outside the provinces to move in and live there. As investments are a big part of this scheme, the government has given a list of incentives to encourage investors to join part of this. These are the likes of major cuts in personal income tax to 17%, land leases of up to 50%, and a free flow of foreign currencies in the three eastern provinces. A 50% reduction in corporate income tax over a period of around five years is also on offer for businessmen, which would honestly invite thousands of entrepreneurs to pack their bags and set up shop there. The time the government has also established a 10 billion baht competitive enhancement fund for targeted industries. 
All in all, these infrastructures, educational advancement, and unprecedented investments will set the EEC to a whole new level. The technological impact alone would accelerate the digital transformation of the country and make Thailand on par or even more advanced compared to other similar countries. The infrastructure development, on the other hand, will step up the country's overall goals of better infrastructure by acting as a role model for future developments. These world-class railways, seaports, and airports would push Thailand further into creating better and more innovative ways of transportation. Anyway, what do you think about the Eastern Economic Corridor? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.